There, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, we are rigged up, ready to go. Gonna hit that record button. Gonna send her down there. See what she sees. Go on, mama. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. So thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode. If you guys do enjoy what we do today, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we are posting weekly. But what we are doing today is something a little bit different, something that I've never done on this channel, and I got the idea from the Fish Whisperer. If you guys haven't seen it already, I'm pretty sure it has over 10 million views. He strapped a freaking GoPro to a turtle. And the second that I saw him do this video, I was like, dude, that's awesome. Like, I, I just knew immediately, just from the title thumbnail, I, I knew it was gonna be so cool and I wanted to do this with a bass. I don't know if anyone's strapped a GoPro to a bass quite yet, but today, that is the goal of the video. So what we're gonna do is we're fishing ultra clear water. Also, that's, a, that's another thing too. Everyone that I've seen do a variation of this video has been in like a pond. A lot of them have pretty murky water. We have like 20 foot of visibility in the lake that we're at currently, so. You guys should be able to see absolutely everything. I'm gonna try to catch a fish from a little bit deeper too, so hopefully the bass swims down and you guys see some really, really cool stuff. But without further ado, let's get to fishing. We're gonna try to catch a bass somewhere probably between like 10 and 15 inches, not a giant, but one that we could strap this GoPro to and hopefully see some really, really sick stuff. So stick around, stay tuned guys. It's gonna be an interesting episode. Okay, so first things first, we gotta figure out how we're gonna tie this to the GoPro so that we don't lose it. Cause I really don't feel like losing $300 today. I think we're gonna do the good old polymer knot pretty much around this entire little rig right here. And I'm gonna tie it to the case, not this mount, just in case for some reason this mountain breaks or something. And that's something all right going to cut off this tag end really quick using these ego pliers if you guys want to check these out it's going to be linked down below in the description really awesome fishing pliers right here but this is our rig i'll be lying if i said i was not afraid right now let me just see what this looks like make sure that everything's good to go because basically we're going to hook this around a fish the fish is going to be in here and then i'm just going to pull this off the fish either this strap's going to just kind of pop open like it just did or it's gonna slide down the fish's back and we're gonna get our GoPro back, if all goes according to plan. If it doesn't, this GoPro is gonna kiss itself goodbye and be in the bottom of the lake, but hopefully that doesn't happen. I really, really hope that doesn't happen. But let me just see what this looks like. I'm gonna drop this down in the water, give you guys a little sneak peek, and then we're gonna go try to catch the fish that's gonna go inside of this little GoPro contraption here. But let's see, we're gonna drop this down and, and give you guys a little look of what's yet to come here probably gonna look a little stupid right now because it's just fluttering down to the bottom. Nothing too cool, I'm sure, but we're gonna get a fish strapped up in this thing and hopefully it swims us down to like the mother load of all bass and we could see like a ton of fish or something cool like that. But I'm just really hoping that this braid doesn't fail us. I'm gonna just keep it, you know, nice and steady, not pull on it really hard or anything like that, but we're gonna catch a fish now. I'm probably gonna pull out the Ned Rig, something that we should be able to catch one pretty quickly on. Ned Rig drop shot, something like that. And we're gonna catch a bass to hook up inside of this little contraption. Okay, so we are ready to start fishing. Bait choice of the day. We have a little Catchco Ned Rig head on there, a one six ounce Ned Rig head. And we have a little Biz Baits Dizzy Ned on there. Should be pretty easy to catch one. Don't wanna speak too soon, but all these fish are starting to move up shallow. We're gonna start by fishing this break line and try to catch some of those fish that are just moving up. We have 56 degree water. It's perfect pre-spawn conditions right now, guys. See if we could get one in the boat really, really quick for y'all. There we go. There we go. We got one. We got one for the GoPro boys. This is like a perfect size one too. It's a decent bass, but it's not huge or anything. We're gonna strap a GoPro to this like 14 incher here on that net rig. Only took us about three minutes and we got the perfect bass to strap up here. Oh boy. Gotta get this fish rigged up, ready to go. And we're gonna drop her down underneath the water here. We have got a bass strapped up with the freaking GoPro right there. We're gonna get this fish back in the water and uh, see what he sees. Okay, here goes nothing. Please bring my GoPro back, buddy. I don't know how he's gonna be able to swim with that on him. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well this is gonna be a learning experience because he just slithered out of that thing almost immediately. That was our first attempt. Uh, we're gonna catch another one though pretty quick here, guys. Not too worried about it. Like I said, that one only took about three minutes to get in the boat, but 
that did not work so good. Okay, we gotta try this again. Gonna have to try to find another bass because that one literally had the GoPro on it for about five seconds and said, see you later. I guess I didn't strap it tight enough. I tried to leave it a little bit looser because I know that it's gonna have to slip off the back of it, but we might've just went a little bit too loose. There we go. There we go. Another little bass. All right, buddy. Time to get famous. Time to get a GoPro strapped to your head. Try this, take number two. She's down there. I have no idea if that fish is gonna see anything, but we are in about 20 foot of water. That fish bit a little bit deeper. So hopefully she goes all the way down to the bottom and shows us all of her buddies. And hopefully we don't lose this GoPro because I will probably cry on camera. Feels like she's on the bottom. I don't know, I, I feel her kicking down there. I wonder what you guys can see. Do you guys see any fish down there? <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. Ever since I saw the fish whisperer do this, I was like, dude, I need to strap a GoPro to a bass, see what happens. But I'm gonna leave the GoPro down there for a good minute or so, let you guys look around, but we're gonna try to catch another fish, hopefully a little bit bigger bass too, because I don't know, maybe this thing's not swimming around on there. I hope that it's getting good footage for you guys, but I honestly have no idea what's happening. Uh, but otherwise, we're gonna try to catch a slightly bigger bass that can maybe maneuver around a little bit better with a GoPro strapped to its head and try this again. All right, yeah, that's, that's enough for this little guy. Let's get our GoPro back. I don't know if he's still on there or if it's just gonna be the camera. Oh, he's still he's still attached to it. Sorry, buddy. He got caught on the cloth. All right, get him back in the water here without the GoPro. Nice, safe release. Little 10, 12 inch bass, but we're gonna try to get a bigger fish, strap this GoPro up once again, because like I said, I have no idea what y'all just saw. Hopefully it was super cool. Maybe he saw a bunch of stuff down there, but I'm not really too sure, so. I think that if I get a bigger fish, it's probably gonna be a little bit better for y'all. Try to catch another one. That was only about mm, five to 10 minutes after I had that first fish, which I didn't strap the GoPro on tight enough because that one was about the perfect size. I'd like to catch another like 15 incher. I think that that will be perfect for putting the GoPro on. Pretty cool stuff though. Hopefully you guys saw something neat down there. There, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a big large mouth. It's a pretty freaking good one, guys. This is gonna be the perfect one. Stay pinned up, baby, on that net rig. Oh my goodness. I think it's a close to three pounder. I'm not even lying. Gotta bust out the old ego net for this one. This is a good fish. This is definitely one that can handle a GoPro on top of its head. Oh, buddy, come here. Come in this boat. Come here, ooh. Not quite a three pounder, but that is a chunky two, two and a half pounder right there. That is a big fat pre-spawn fish. Came out of about 15 foot of water on that little Ned Dizzy right there, but we're gonna strap this big girl up with the GoPro. This is the one that we needed. This is the perfect fish to strap up here, but let me get this thing situated and hopefully this one brings us down to the depths and shows us the juice, the promised land. Okay, we are rigged up, ready to go. Gonna hit that record button. Nice, solid, two, two and a half pound bass. Gonna send her down there, see what she sees. Go on, mama. Oh, hold on. We've got technical difficulties. We've got the rod all tangled up. Here we go. Free spooling it. See if she could swim down there. So I have no idea what you guys are seeing right now. Like I said, this water has about 20 foot of visibility, so I could still see that bass all the way down there. And even this bigger one can't really handle this GoPro. Uh, I'm gonna go with, this is why everyone's been doing this with big carp, catfish, koi, stuff like that. Because even a decent sized bass like this one really can't handle that big old GoPro on top of their head. But hopefully you guys are seeing something down there. We're sitting in, how deep are we right here? 25 foot of crystal clear water. I could still see that bass too. I don't know how close it is to the bottom, but we have some of the clearest water that is in my entire area in this lake. So. Hopefully you guys are seeing something down there. Otherwise this video is gonna be a big old bus of just me being an idiot, catching like one and two pound bass and strapping GoPros to their face for no reason. But she's down there, she's down there, she's in it. And if you catch one in the pre-spawn, there's usually a lot of bass in the area. So I'm hoping that she's down there by all her friends that we just caught her out of. But I don't know what y'all are seeing down there. 
it's honestly who who the heck knows but all right we're gonna reel this fish in here see if we could uh do it nice and steady we don't want to lose a gopro 300 dollars is no fun to lose let me tell you okay there we go you see anything cool down there mama you see anything sweet <laughs> okay we're gonna get this fish unstrapped and get her back in the water get back down there you can swim freely this time <laughs> all right let's try to get another one guys there we go oh yeah come on baby that one feels like she's gonna be big enough oh you're getting strapped up sonny you're getting the GoPro on. <laughs> Finally got us another decent one. We caught quite a few little guys. Didn't even put them all on camera for you guys, but we were waiting for another halfway decent one. So then hopefully she could handle that GoPro. Probably our third biggest one of the day. Nice little pound and a halfer. Nothing too crazy. Make sure that we are recording. Okay, let's send her down. Oh crap, just realized that she just freaking popped out of there. That sucks. Well, boys and girls, we are gonna end on that note right there. A uh, little pipsqueak bass pulled another Harry Houdini on us, shot right out of the freaking GoPro mount. And I have no idea what this video looks like because as you can see, I'm on the water right now. I haven't looked at any of the footage on this GoPro. So we had two successful ones where they went all the way down to the bottom. As far as I know, we could have got something, but I have no idea what this turned out to be. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it didn't suck. It, there's a 50% chance this video is terrible, but um, let me know what you guys want to see because this is obviously me trying to switch it up, trying to do something a little bit cool, but I'm open to ideas. So anything that you guys want to see, drop it down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, yeah, today was a very weird day. Caught every single fish on this little biz baits, Dizzy Ned, awesome little Ned rig bait and had a good time, but couldn't really figure out the GoPro thing. Couldn't really catch big enough fish for the GoPro, but this is all a learning process. We might try this again and, you know, try to catch bigger fish or something. I have no idea, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.